Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to go over how to really optimize your WordPress database. And the reason why this is important is because over time, if you've owned any website that's database driven for a while, the more items you add to it, the larger the database can get. And a really large database can actually cause you some problems because it's not optimized for performance. There could be a lot of stuff left over that you no longer need is taking up space. And for smaller websites might not be a big deal, but over time your website grows and that's when you start seeing the impact. All right. So in order to demonstrate um, what we're going to do, I have a fresh installation of WordPress 4.6 installed. This is a fresh installation. These are the database uh, tables that it comes with by default. So you see it comes with 12 tables. These are the standard tables it comes with. And these are the rows. And then this is the size, 2.1. So just keep tabs of all this and we'll keep on referencing it. And I'll show you what happens as we start adding stuff. All right, so let's go back to our dashboard. I'm gonna go to plugins. I'm gonna add a new plugin. And I'm just going to add BuddyPress. BuddyPress is a great plugin if you're trying to build a social media website. Um, social media based website with WordPress. Uh, but I just want to show it because it creates additional tables inside your database. All right, so we are activating it. This is the new process of activating, installing and activating within WordPress. I do also have to go, I believe, and update my permalinks. It was actually okay. And then let's go here to the BuddyPress section in the settings. And I'm just going to save the setting. All right, so now let's. Remember this, 159, 12 tables, 2.1. Now let's refresh. As you can see, our database has grown significantly. Now, instead of 12, we have 21 tables in total. We have 255 rows and 2.8 is the size of it, but that's just because we just installed it. So once you start getting more users, uh, to be part of the site, obviously that will increase it, you know, significantly. But I just wanted to show you the additional tables it creates. All right, so now you see these are the tables that it ended up putting in. There's BP Activity, BP Activity Meta, Notifications, Notification Meta, these right here. And then also there's WP Signups. So it, it put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine tables in total. So that's why we're at 21. All right, so that's where it stands now. All right, so now what I want to do, I'm going to show you my installed plugins. I only have the, and these are unactivated. These are the defaults. I'm going to add a new one. And this is a great plugin that I previously did a review on. It's a really good one, very well maintained and um, uses a lot of the recommended WordPress functionality. So we're going to activate this. All right, so now we have that active. So why am I doing this? Because I'm going to start deleting this BuddyPress plugin. I'm going to deactivate it and delete it. You see here, let's do a recap, 255, 2.8, and my B, 21 tables. So now let's deactivate BuddyPress. And then we're going to delete BuddyPress. It's going to give us a pop-up. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. All right, so now BuddyPress has been deleted. Let's navigate. All right, so... For all intents and purposes, BuddyPress is gone, right? So we deleted it from our um, admin side of our WordPress powered website and it's not there. We go to our database. Let's refresh this. It's still there. You see that even though we deleted the plugin itself, the information is still there inside your database. Now, how detrimental is this to your performance of your website? Well, by itself with a brand new install that's automatically deleted, not much data has been saved. So it's not really that detrimental. It becomes an issue when you start having multiple plugins that you're playing around with, that's creating multiple tables in your database. And you know, not all of them do you delete too quickly. Sometimes you play around with it for a while, you start you know, gain, gathering some data with it, and then it starts building up inside your database. So it builds up. So that's when it can start being an issue. Once you have a few of these plugins that just don't delete the database, tables and or the accompanying data that typically will be stored potentially in the WP options table or in the post meta table, things of that nature. All right, so now we know the plugin is not there. All right, so it's not there. So maybe we're going to use our sweep tool. All right, so we're going to see that this is what it says it's going to do. It gives you a 
wanting to make sure you take a backup of your database very important to do um, and it tells you what it's gonna do obviously not much information was saved so it's gonna do something but not much just remember the rows the size maybe over here in the WP options table and the size right here all right so let's do that a sweep all it'll process once it's done let's go back to our database in PHP my admin let's refresh this what did it do it brought down the size from 2.8 and might be to 1.3 so that's good it brought down the WP options table uh, significantly so that's good also um, but it did not get rid of these tables now why is that well because that's not what the plugin is supposed to do it's a great plugin and it does exactly as it's intended uh, but this is just not one of it so maybe there's another plugin we can use and it's another plugin that is uh, very popular in the WordPress community for optimizing the database it's called WP optimize and I did a video on this one as well I'll probably do an updated one updated video since they did update the uh, recently update since the last time I did a video on it we're gonna install this one let's see what this does it's gonna install it's gonna activate all right so now we see that there we can go to settings and then we can choose what we want it to do set these to be default things of that nature we can save the settings and then now let's go and we're going to see we're gonna process it it's not gonna remove anything you can see that it has nothing to remove all right so we remember we saw 1.3 Let's refresh, see if it did anything. It didn't do anything, actually, our database increased. Now, it increased not because of the op optimization of the plugin, but because we added another plugin. So that's why it increased, and we have some transients uh, that you know got created. Now, transients are another topic for another video, but it's just some temporary data that plugins store within your database, and they eventually get deleted. Sometimes it could take a while. Uh, but those are they're like temporary almost like cookies all right so we see that the two plugins that are the most popular and very good at what they do WP optimize and WP sweep did not get rid of the tables so how do we get rid of these there is one more plugin that I recommend plugin garbage collector you can see it has 7,000 active installs so that's good you can look at the details so it does work I've tested it on other WordPress power websites and it works just fine um, the plugins garbage collector scans your WordPress database and shows the tables beyond the core WordPress installation some WordPress plugins create and use its own database tables so it, it demonstrates how sometimes they get left behind pretty popular for those who chose to review it i've tested it and i can tell you that it works all right so now we have it installed let's activate it all right so now we have it act okay so we can just click on scan and then this is the page it brings you to it's also located in the tools and then plugins garbage collector so we're just going to uh, search non-wp tables and then show hidden tables if any exist it's going to say scanning will take some time please confirm to continue now it's not going to take that long because this is a brand new installation all right so now what did it do it identified these tables let's see what tables in your database do not belong to the core wordpress installation and then it goes down the list so you see one two three four five six seven eight nine so it has nine tables that it found that are on the database that don't belong to the core and it tells you the plugin state it's deleted that's good to good to see now word of advice as I mentioned before with the WP sweep and of course with WP optimize you definitely want to take a backup of your database just in case you do something or click on something that you end up you know regretting deleting later on these are not reversible and the author gives you this um, notice your attention operation rollback is not possible you cannot roll back I consider to make a database backup first please double think before click delete tables button all right so that's a very good notice that it's telling you make sure you know what you're doing now obviously you should identify you know which tables belong to what and sometimes it's easier uh, with some plugins than it is with others so it's searching for non WP tables that are created in your database all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna check these off after you made your backup of your database so now we check these off we're gonna click on delete tables it's gonna give us a notice so you know he's giving you fair warning all right so you, then you get a notice tables are deleted successfully and it tells you which ones are deleted so if you want to write these down or just copy and paste you know this line right here 
just in case of anything, you can do that. But now let's go back to our database itself. Remember, 247 rows in total, 1.4 MIB. Let's refresh now, let's see what happened. Those tables are gone. We are back down, our size is down to 704 KIB, which is significantly smaller. Now we went from 21 tables to 12 tables and it deleted the tables that were no longer needed. The plugins garbage collector is a really good plugin, really does a good job at getting rid of the excess tables that you no longer need in your database. And again, one plugin that doesn't delete its tables might be okay, might not cause an issue, but in the long run, if you have plugins that you continuously try out and they continue to develop database tables that are no longer in use, it's just like your computer sometimes need to be, needs to be defragmented. Your database too needs to be defragmented. Plugins Garbage Collector and Active Installation 7000 Plus. Played around with it over the past few days to see how it functions, to see if it gave me any issues, unforeseen issues. I have not faced any issues whatsoever. Um, I've tested it on my local environment and on my production environment on some of my testing websites. Um, and I can tell you, the plugin works. It definitely reduces the size of your database. This started off at 2.8 when we had BuddyPress installed. Now it's down to 704 KIB. So that definitely shows you that in conjunction with other optimization plugins, this one can definitely help to speed up your website and your database and get it to perform better. And this is important for your users, for your website visitors, and it's important for your search engine optimization strategy because Google uses page load speed as a ranking factor. So the better optimize your database, the better optimize your themes and plugins and your overall installation, the better the chance that your website will perform well in the browsers and do better for your users and the search engines. All right, so hopefully you found this um, episode beneficial on how to optimize your database and delete unused tables from plugins uh, that left over some garbage. All right, the plugin is... Uh, that I recommend is Plugins Garbage Collector. It's free on the WordPress repository. Hopefully you found this episode helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.